I also want to give a quick update on the work we're doing with high-risk communities like Revere, the command center's COVID-19 enforcement and intervention team has been working closely with local officials and communities to continue to see high rates of COVID. We've ramped up public messaging in these communities, including through a multilingual public messaging campaign. And last night, we added a new step where we activated a wireless emergency alert to phones in several high-risk communities, including Chelsea, Everett, Lawrence, Lynn, Nantucket, New Bedford, Revere, Framingham, Winthrop, and Worcester. Local officials have all told us that this was a great success, and they felt it was a very effective way to reach their residents with a, an important and pertinent message. You might recognize the alert system. It's the one we use more typically to alert people to serious risks in their communities, usually weather emergencies or amber alerts. COVID is a persistently high risk in these communities, and this alert is another important message to remind residents to be vigilant. It's also far-reaching and goes to every cell phone in the area to make sure people are informed, even if they haven't seen something on TV or somewhere else in the news. The text alert contains a website link where folks can click to learn more about what they can do to stop the spread of COVID-19 in their community and be safe. Obviously, the short message is wear face coverings, get tested, Stay home if you feel sick. Stop having gatherings, especially big informal ones where people spend too much time close to each other, share food, share drink, don't wear masks, and don't practice social distancing. Those are exactly the sorts of things that create that big increase in positive test results for people between the ages of 19 and 39, which is where the vast majority of the increase in positive tests has been happening, not just here in the Commonwealth, but in many places and states around the country.